I'm definitely raising awareness. I think it's really important. People see this kind of thing as useless. What I mean, what are some people in getting together downtown Sassoon going to do for people in the Middle East? It's so far away. But raising awareness is, I think, every Canadian citizen's obligation. Yes, you can. 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 Yes, you can.
So how do these things get started? How do events like this take place? Well, let me tell you one thing. Sometimes you just have to move. Sometimes you have to get up and do it. And don't wait for people, because if you wait by that time, there's been too many deaths, too much, too much conflict, too much oppression that has taken place. So you, sometimes you just have to mobilize and do what you got to do. And don't wait, don't wait around for people. After the rally, two Canadian students expressed to us their opinion. As students of international law and political science, they speak strongly for Palestinian justice. Going to a place like Gaza, uh, it, I mean, it's, a, it's hell on earth. I mean, they have you know, no water treatments uh, or sewage treatment uh, facilities. They, they live in fear. And every morning, uh, the Israeli fighter jets fly over Gaza as a scare tactic for the last, well, since 2006. You know, it, just, just to harass them and terrorize children and break windows with sonic booms. And I just, it's sickening. I, I don't understand how we can support Zionist aggression. This is what I call it. It's, it's a minority that rules. I think the average Israeli just wants to live in peace and, and you know, work and raise a family, just like any other person. And it's such a small minority, I think, that is pushing these racial ta uh, policies. It's, it's, it's ethnic nationalism at its worst. I mean, we should base our countries and, and the modern world on civic nationalism, virtues. Ethnic nationalism is, is always wrong. And that's scary, especially when it's enforced by a state. We've seen it many times over through the last, you know, thousand years. So... I want peace on both sides. I want a separate Palestinian state. I want the Palestinians to recognize Israel and I want Israel to recognize that their Palestinians have a right to exist in a nation just like anyone else. I mean, just because they have a right to defend themselves doesn't mean that they can take away other people's rights. It's not a vacuum. Just to add to that, I want people to realize that there is no military con uh, resolution for this. There is no military answer. I mean, that's been tried. They've been out. This is not a new conflict. People think it's a new conflict. It just started a couple weeks ago, but it's not. It's been, it's been years and years, decades and decades. And there's no military solution. Yeah, I came here purely out of hatred for aggression. Um, it's asymmetrical warfare. Like, it, we're... Since Nuremberg in 1945, the Western world, most of the Western world, has just disregarded what happened there and the rules and, and principles that were established. And it drives me nuts because we tried a lot of other people for less crimes. And Israel is breaking so many international conventions and laws. And I study politics and international law, and I just don't like that. I do not like, well, what's the word I'm looking for? Law-breaking countries. As there's so many. Injustice, Injustice you're right. Injustice. State terrorism. So what can Canadians do to help the situation? Um, I would say, yeah, definitely getting more involved in politics. Stop being so ignorant. I know, I don't, I'm not trying to generalize, but not enough people know about what's going on in the Middle East. They're just in their nice little comfort zone in the middle of this continent. And I think that we really need to start writing our officials more. Uh, definitely raising awareness. I think it's really important. People see this kind of thing as useless. What I mean, what are some people in getting together downtown Saskatoon going to do for people in the Middle East? It's so far away. But raising awareness is, I think, every Canadian citizen's obligation. So that's definitely a big part of it. Mm -hmm.